This looks like a tribal like uh, <laughs> ritual to become a man. You must press the hanging donuts. What did you put in it? What is that? Styrofoam. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't believe you. See? I mean, that's not terrible. It's the same way. Oh. We could do it. You know, I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna get a scale. Oh, that's heavier than 100. 112.2. Oh. One. One eleven. I was close. right. One pound up. <laughs> that's within like drop thickness and such of Maybe. the bag. Yeah, we didn't weigh the bag. So yeah. yeah. That bag. Good job. You had one job. <laughs> We doing stone over bar today? You want to try? Let's that? try some stone over bar. Ooh. I don't know. My lower back's pretty, pretty bad right now. Like actually, actually bad. It's been hurting pretty bad today. It's pretty stiff. <laughs> I'll give you, I'll give you my best friend. Hold on, where's my backpack? I have a present for you. I also can shock the living crap out of you if you want. This will solve every problem you will ever have. I'll walk you through how to roll out your glutes and how to roll out your hip flexors. Ooh, that would be great. Let's go do this. Let's go do it. Okay. Yeah. This is my way of being lazy. Lacrosse balls are going to allow you to get in pretty deep with your any sore, like your sore back. I'm going to have you focus on your hips and your hip flexors. Um, the reason why, when your glutes are super tight, they share insertions with muscles in the low back. And so when you're really tight in the hips, it's going to be creating tension in there. So if you roll out your hips, get that tension to release, a lot of that pain is going to dissipate from the low back. Yeah, good so too. what I want you to do is I want you to sit on that lacrosse ball, right? Kind of, you know where your SI joint is? No. So right, right about here. You're going to find a spot that's sore and you're going to sit on it. And we're going to go through some range of motion with you having the pressure from the ball on your, on your, go for it. Oh. Probably not going to feel great. Yeah. There you go. Is that a sore spot? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now what you're going to do, I want you to brace with this leg, but we're actually going to move this one. <laughs> so we're going to take it here. Go and relax. You, you got you to gotta relax into it. See how when you move, it increases the tension? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing is we're taking you through that range of motion, which is actually going to force that muscle to release. Essentially, we're, we're taking care of um, any hypertonicities in the muscle. Really, all you need to do is go through that range of motion. So you're gonna bring your knee towards your chest, let it sit there for a second, and you're gonna go back down slowly. You're gonna do that until that pain starts to reduce in that area locally. You may notice that pain refers down your leg a little bit, may go into your quad or even into the, the mid thigh. Um, that's not abnormal as long as it's not shooting pain going down your leg then you know then you want to move because you're probably on a nerve that. Oh yeah You're not done <gasps> Did you notice how that pain when you initially got there was really intense and then yeah. the longer you sat on it The more you moved the less painful it was mellowed out So that muscle is starting to release into that tension or relax into that tension So find another spot that's sore and we're gonna do that same thing. So you're gonna start here You're gonna go all the way down to the the end of the glute here where it inserts, then you go back up, go all the way down, then you go to the side of your hip, go all the way down, and then you go to the front of your hip. You start, you got your ASIS right here, anterior superior iliac spine, hashtag nerd. <laughs> you go just inside of that right there, and then you just straighten out your knee, and that gets it into a stretch position. It's terrible. So it's, oh. it's awful. Oh yeah. Excellent. Notice again, the longer you sit there, the more you move, the less painful it is. Okay, so now's a good time to move to another spot that sucks. When you initially start, where would you rate the pain on a scale of one to 10? Probably a seven or eight. How long does it take for that to start to dissipate? Once you've been moving a little bit, a couple of seconds, a minute, two minutes, how long are you noticing that's taking for it to loosen up? A few seconds. It's okay, really so it's pretty, quick. Yeah, it's pretty quick. That's really good. So that tells me that we're working on part of where, where that pain is coming from, part of the, the origin of that pain. It's not because we worked on your low back at all. Right. It's because we're getting muscles that share insertions or muscles that insert on the sacrum to release, and so that tension that's placed on them through other muscles is reduced. 
muscles don't register pain when they're in a contracted position. So think of a rubber band sitting on the countertop, right? So when a rubber band is sitting on the counter, it's not gonna tear, and it could sit there pretty much as long as you want it to, and it's not gonna have any problems, right? It now, might, if you have a child who eats it. <laughs> Work with me. Here. Rubber. Now, if you take that same rubber band and you stretch it out as far as you can, it's much more likely to fail. Right, it's much more likely to tear. When your muscle is in a resting position, it's actually contracted. Right? Now, when you start to stretch things out, you get closer to that point of failure, the pain response is going to be sending up to the brain. You're more likely to have an injury. So what we should shock him while he talks, just to see if <laughs> <laughs> Now, feel the pain. Don't feel the pain! <laughs> All right, Jonathan, let me try something on me. I don't know. Just What's your... So I'm gonna have to try and explain this while I have a TENS unit on. This is probably a bad thing. No. I mean, I'm slightly <laughs> terrified. Okay. Let's see. It's electrical stimulation. Let's so. start with the bat. Ba oh, the bat. Oh, that one's a weird one. Okay. Jonathan, <laughs> proceed. Okay. Start talking. Uh, <laughs> now I'm nervous because I don't know when it's going to Keep going. Again. You can just kind of talk. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so how are you feeling right now? Okay. Feeling okay? Yeah. Feeling How's your okay. low back pain? I haven't noticed it. It's How's your low back pain? I'm fine. It's on. It's going. You're being shocked. Well, I already have a shocking personality. There's something wrong with you. You're gonna hurt him. I'm gonna hurt you. No, you see, mine is therapeutic. Yours is just torturous. This will help you. Here, I'll turn it up. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go, talk, talk, talk. Holy cow, that's talk. fun. Look at that. <laughs> Did you feel that twitch? Yeah, and I touched you. Oh, <laughs> there's like fingers on my back. Okay. Hey, you're not done. What are you doing? Now you're gonna be laying on your side. You're gonna start right where the bone is on your hip. You're gonna go down just a little bit from there. So our goal here is we're getting glute medius, tensor fasciae lata, and piriformis. <laughs> this is this is terrifying. Ooh. This one's weird. Is that like Morse code? Yes. Are you saying SOS to the tens unit? Place your hand just over, like surrounding the ball. <laughs> oh, it's like pushing me backwards. I don't believe in training calves. What are you doing? All right. Okay, I'm gonna sit down because I will no, no, not no, be no, able to stand up. up. It's time to sit down. <laughs> okay, so how does that feel? Oh, that's very painful. Okay, so now go ahead and start bending. There you go. <laughs> Keep going! Why are you stopping? <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> my calves are gonna be sore. I don't remember the last time my calves were sore. That's not true. I ran a mile once. That was terrible. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Blood everywhere. Yeah. I'm going to feel a bone right there. Feel that? Yep. So you're going to go just inside of that. Right. Oh. It's a little sore. A little bit. We'll use a stool. I'm going to place the ball right here. Again, ASIS right there. Anterior superior iliac spine. I'm going to go just medial to that. Hashtag nerd. Hashtag nerd. <laughs> um, you're going to apply pressure. Let that hip relax. You're gonna try and let that ball sink in because you're not gonna to get to the full muscle until you relax into it. Once you're there, you're just going to extend the knee. You're gonna lock your knee and you will probably want to scream. Um, we did this to Joel. He was feeling really, really sore when he got a dumbbell and basically did this. Five minutes later, he worked, did the rest of the workout and with zero problems, pretty much no back pain. Knowledge. <laughs>